bridge is about crossing from one side to the other. The foot is a bridge, hand is a bridge, a horse is a walking bridge, light is a bridge between the sun and us. Bridges are everywhere. When I'm making a piece of, of art, when I'm painting, I'm tapping into memories, but I'm trying to tell stories that relate to my present day. The gesture is meant to be read more than the letters are meant to be read or the stories are meant to be read. And that gesture is the feeling that I'm passing on to the viewer. A lot of my designs and art is based roughly around uh, cellular movement. I always think about the smallest foundations of the piece itself. It's that molecular level that I'm very fascinated with. As a sculptor whose work grew out of the idea of the most heavy and substantial thing was to leaven that kind of heaviness with the ephemeral nature of light. So the star in that sense was a perfect vehicle to counterpoint it with the animal. breaking all the rules about what goes on in park design. I mean, I've been doing research on beaver dams lately because, you know, Doug wants a beaver dam. Wow, this is really sexy. Look at the way the chew marks came through so nicely. It's larger than I thought, it's smaller than I thought. It feels just really alive, it's just wonderful. The um, colorized windows, part of it comes from a, an actual painting. Uh, that I that I'd made, which is the, sort of the line motif that's in the that's in the composition. What I wanted to do was capture a certain trace of the hand or inflection of the hand, a, a handmade aspect. And then beneath is a, a, a design for a relief wall. It has a relation or a, a connotation of cartography of mapping. What I wanted to do with this project was to create something that was an evocation of a lot of different interpretive possibilities. When I was in Iraq, it was war, everything about the environment, destruction, all of this, it gave me huge experience in the life. I, I start to understand what is mean the life and what is mean the death. I feel both of them. So I restricted the imagery of this exterior to spring blossoms because I was really interested in the idea of renewal. There's that period in spring in Toronto where all the apple, all those trees are just covered in blossoms. The entire city is just filled with color uh, using the windows. So it's like a spine of color that runs up the building. work with the magic of light and how color can create three dimensions. I'd like to take subject matter that people don't think of as being beautiful and trying to make it magical. I think I'm trying to make the highway look beautiful, like something that could be celebrated and not just something that's streaming by their window. Mark is one of the few artists who've been able to take on heroic scale and not fall flat on his face. He will be remembered as a truly great artist. <laughs>